Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. So examples go in a test file. So not, they're not part of your package. And what you do is you usually, you call the package NLP underscore test. Remember I told you that all files in the directory must have the same package. And this is the only exception. If you add underscore test, this is meaning that this is a test package. And now you're going to use your package like using it from the outside you no longer have access to unexported symbols. Uh, so this is used a lot for examples, but sometimes if you want to do what is known as a black box testing, just test uh, our code feed through the API without, um, without access to internal uh, functions and, and variables, etc., cetera, uh, you can use that as well. And here, um, Uh, sorry, github.com 53 solutions slash NLP. And then you write function. Let's start with the word example. And let's say if the text is um, Okay, uh, and then tokens equal NLP dot tokenize of the text. And then we print out the tokens. And what you do now is you say output and the colon here is important. Don't miss it out. And uh, it's hi, how are you? Um, so when you run it and, and now um, I'm refreshing the document and you see now I have an example section and in the example section, uh, I can see the example. I can see the code, I can remove this line, so yeah. So I, I see the code and I see the output. So you can write test and, and they show under the examples and it example for a specific function. So it knows that it's example tokenized. So it's example for this function. It's going to show right under the function here. Another nice thing that happens is now that uh, when we run the test, you see it's also running this function. Mm -hmm.